Hello everyone, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. This is a reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, a love reading. So let's see what the overall energy, the message from Spirit is birds of a feather. So right now we see you gravitating to someone who is like yourself, very similar to your family, but very much wanting to feel as though you're with people that you really are familiar with birds of a feather are like a flock all right we have into me i see so you're really taking time out for yourself to look within to see what makes you happy to really reflect on what you want in love we have the energy of beyond the ordinary wow okay well that means it's extraordinary because that's what beyond the ordinary means i do have a holiday special listed in the comments pinned to the top of the comments for 25 percent off for a holiday reading it will run through the end of the year so we are looking at the bottom of the deck energy for the sign of virgo uh, to see what is going on as the overall energy coming into the reading between you and a lover ten of swords Ooh, ouch okay so there has been an ending of some sort one that feels very painful that can be an end to the relationship very much. It can also be an end to an attitude. It can be the end to an argument, but we'll look and see as we go along here. In the recent past, you and your lover were in the Two of Pentacles energy, certainly keeping your options open, juggling each other, not really making any commitments to one another. That is Capricorn energy. Ten of Swords is Gemini energy being all up in your head. But Ten of Swords is very real. It is backstabbing. It is a betrayal of some sort. So you're feeling very much this energy of not knowing where to go with this in the recent past. In the present circumstance, you and a lover are taking a moment to yourselves to gain perspective, to look at things from a different viewpoint. That's a hanged man energy. That's Pisces energy. Just trying to look at things in a way that would be very helpful for you. How your person views you, Virgo, justice card, we, that's Libra energy. Your person is trying to look at you in a very fair light. They're trying to gain perspective as you are, and they're trying to keep their sense of balance, but they do want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. They definitely feel as though it's very important to operate in the parameters of honesty with each other. They may not feel, you know, depending on who this is and how this is, you know, runs out. Both of you, though, are feeling the energy of betrayal of some sort emotionally. How they view you, they view you as someone who is not really very interested in them. They view you as someone who is taking them for granted. They view you as someone who is, um, you know, not so eager to take their cup of love that you, again, two of coins, that you are keeping your options open. How your person feels in their heart space, Virgo, the hermit card, wow, Virgo energy. So you may be dealing with a Virgo, um, you know, you may be dealing with Pisces, Libra, Capricorn, or Cancer, or Gemini, but your person is feeling very much ghosted, left alone. Um, there's a good possibility that you simply have not reached out to them, that you have another love interest and you're not accepting their affection for you. So how they view the situation moving forward, three of wands. Well, your person has chosen you. They are trying to figure out how this happens. They definitely feel as though you're not accepting their cup of love, but the Three of Wands is how things move forward, is whether you choose them or not. The Three of Wands is about, you know, the Two of Wands is about being at a crossroads, but the Three of Wands says that you've already chosen. They've chosen you, but it looks like they do not feel as though you've chosen them, but we'll look at the clarifiers. When we look at the hidden energy between the two of you, five of pentacles, coldness, being left in the cold, feeling very much like 
the two of you are just not a match. This is more of a spiritual issue as I see it because when we get, you know, into me, I see. Um, it really is just think of th thinking of things from your own perspective. Five of Pentacles is Taurus energy and it's literally leaving each other out in the cold. The energy that Spirit is recommending or the advice from Spirit is Nine of Wands. Do the work. Wow. So Spirit is actually saying that this relationship is worthy of a lot more attention than it's getting. It's advising you, Virgo, to do the work here. We have the butterfly on this woman's shoulder, but fire in your belly, Sagittarius energy to do the work. The short-term outcome of this relationship reading is the Knight of Pentacles. Virgo energy, Virgo, you're in the reading. It looks like you have your person's heart space. And the Knight of Pentacles is you moving forward. But when we look at this particular deck, the Knights are very heavily armored. So both of you are just going to step forward and take, to me, this is a wait and see attitude. Your person feels as though they've chosen you, but you not you have not chosen them, that there really is no recourse for them, and they're just um, going to stand back, sort of stand down. They feel as though they don't really have any options with the Ten of Swords energy. So let's take a look at the clarifiers and see what's going on here. What brought about the Ten of Swords energy? What is bringing about the Ten of Swords energy for the way you and your person feel in this relationship? Spirit of Wands. Very fiery energy. This is the energy of the King of Wands. The Spirit of Wands is says that both of you are very fiery, you're very, very proud, you're unlikely to sort of back down. You both want the other person to take the lead, but both of you want the relationship, the Ace of Coins. Neither of you wants this to end. But we, do, you know, the beyond the ordinary, it's really quite an interesting relationship and both of you feel that way. So let's see what the energy is. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? So both of you are feeling disappointed, set back, stabbed in the back because it looks as though neither of you is making the other one any kind of significant offer. The moon card, so the two of pentacles. So both of you are in this energy of feeling like you simply are in the dark with the other person. You don't know what's going on. You feel, I think, a lot of fear. You know, the moon card is smoky trails and what am I not seeing? And you're both questioning this relationship. The perspective card is a hanged man. What is that and why is that energy here? The star card. So both of you currently feel that the other one is very much a rock star, highly desirable. The attraction to each other is very intense. The star card is a card of healing. There may be something about this relationship that helped both of you heal one another from a ten of swords that had nothing to do with the two of you. You may have had a very, very tough life at the beginning, and you may have come through with for each other to give each other quite a lot of uh, good healing energy. What else is going on with this healing star card? That is hopes and dreams for love coming true, and that's your current energy. The Six of Pentacles, both of you want to give to the relationship. Both of you have given each other a lot. There's a lot of equal give and take. You both have a, a very fond desire, strong desire for one another. Temperance card, the wish to make this work out. A very strong Sagittarius energy of balancing everything to make this relationship work. We have the Seven of Swords, though. You're not talking. The two of you are not talking to each other in an even balanced way. You're just not. The, the Justice card says that, you know, the Seven of Swords is like a sneaky energy, or it can simply mean keeping your feelings to yourself, keeping your thoughts to yourself, mostly the good thoughts. We have the Four of Wands is clarifying the Justice card, Virgo. Four of Wands is your person really seeing the two of you as balanced, seeing the two of you as having a strong foundation, 
the nine of pentacles speaks to the fact that your person is very much in a single energy the way they view the situation is both of you are highly desirable the two of cups your person feels as though you know you care for each other very deeply but the four of cups is repeating itself the four of cups oftentimes is this energy of your person simply thinks that you're not necessarily into them that much and the three of cups says that you may have friend zoned them the Queen of Swords is the energy they feel as though you're being cool, aloof, not very warm and fuzzy, not very nurturing. Nine of Swords, they feel as though you're all up in your head about something. The Nine of Swords has led to the Ten of Swords, so they actually think that you have, you know, ghosted them pretty much. So Virgo, Virgo, you know, you have... Things I would really like to know in the comments below what's going on here for those with whom it resonates. This is like a buffet table. Take what's yours and leave the rest. The Hermit card, why is it here for your person? In their heart space, the mystic. They have, they feel as though religious beliefs may be hindering the relationship or the basic belief system about how to live. The mystic energy is a Hierophant energy. It's Taurus energy. Your person's very grounded, Virgo. They're very, very grounded. They want, they want to move to the next level with you. They want to close out the current cycle and step up into something more ambitious in the relationship. They want more. They want a marriage. They want commitment. They want a solid uh, look into the future with you. The Three of Wands, they have chosen you. You are their ship that has come in, but the Five of Cups says that they don't think that you are interested in a future with them. Five of Cups says that they feel sad, they feel disappointment, they feel unloved at the current time. The Five of Cups energy is, you know, three cups of love, but now we have the Three of Swords. So what we're seeing here is that your person feels as though you've gone off and you've gone off with someone else. You've started something new. You've made a different choice. You're not really giving them your attention. The Nymph of Cups, they're really still very attracted to you. They still have great desire for you. And the Three of Wands, again, you know, we have them feeling as though they've chosen you, but you have not chosen them. The Five of Pentacles energy, you both feel left in the cold. Ten of Swords, <gasps> wow, Ten of Swords again. I'm going to do a little sidebar relationship reading here and clarify those cards with the Heart of the Fairy Oracle and see what's happening here. Something is definitely going on and you're not talking about it. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. So it does speak to the fact that the two of you are hopeful about being able to come out of this period of time in which you both feel really rather unraveled in the relationship. Five of Pentacles being left in the cold, being stabbed in the back. Fate and fortunes are what's happening here. There's a lack of um, being positive about the relationship. Nine of Wands, what is it that you have fire in your belly for? The Nymph of Wands. So, Spirit is saying that a lot of your attraction to one another is very physical, very exciting, might be energy that does not constitute long term. Uh, the Seven of Cups is reversed though, so there is clarity coming in. Spirit is saying, keep your wits about you. The King of Swords energy is Aquarius energy. It's basically saying you're going to have to make a head over heart decision about whatever you do in this situation. The Knight of Pentacles energy is the energy of moving forward. Virgo, you have appeared in the reading. It looks like you're the decision maker in this relationship reading. It looks like it's really up to you what happens. The Two of Pentacles, it started off with the Two of Pentacles, it ends with the Two of Pentacles. So what I'm seeing here is that Virgo, I think that for many of you, you may be in a third party situation that you've caused. Uh, because we have the Three of Swords, the Two of Coins. Those two cards together, definitively with the Justice card, is usually when one party in a third party situation has to make a decision about whether they're going to get a divorce or not with the justice card. Excuse me. 
Um, but what we see here is it looks like your person is going to continue. Uh, you and your person are going to continue to operate in a third party situation. I'm not seeing any relief here, but it feels very painful. The attraction between the two of you is very powerful. You know, it's very intense, but you, the two of you are very passionate. Eight of Wands moving together rapidly. The two of you love to talk. You love to communicate. You love to spend time together. The passion is off the charts. You'd love to travel together. Revolution, the Tower card. So the Tower card is there is a breakdown as an outcome of what's happening right now. There's big changes, Eight of Pentacles. You're both investing in yourselves. You're both worried more about your own particular futures. You will have a victory here. So I don't see this relationship breaking up. But what I do see happening is that it looks like somebody who's in a relationship already is going to stay in that relationship. And it's forcing the other person to be in the energy of this, you know, this making a decision, truly making a decision. The Wayfarer in this energy is the Gemini card. It is, you know, the journey. What choice will you make? Let's see what we have here. Warrior of Swords. Again, very much a decision that's head over heart. But both of you, I really feel as though this is an undeniable situation in which everything about the relationship between the two of you is pretty good but we have a situation in which one party or the other can be vice versa is not willing to leave a marriage and the other person is recognizing that and they're going about their life they're they're going to move forward both of you are moving forward in your own way in your own lives to have the best life possible. And there's kind of this feeling like whatever will be, will be, sort of que sera, sera. Let's look and see what the Ten of Swords here is. The Ten of Swords, let's look at you, Virgo, your energy, your person's energy, and the outcome. So we're going to look at your energy first, the green man. So Virgo, the green man is all about being very rooted in reality, wanting the best, wanting growth, wanting happiness in your life. <clears throat> Let's see what your person's energy here is. Let's see. Those too many cards fell out here. I can't take all of them. Okay, let's turn those back over. Okay, so still looking for your person's energy, Virgo. What is the energy that they have? The Star Fairy. So the Star Fairy is not ever going to pin their hopes or dreams on someone else. The Star Fairy energy is coming in as the energy that your person is going to and is looking at the possibility that the outcome for them if they continue to be in a third party situation is the Lady of Sorrows. So your Star Fairy energy of your person is that they are going to work to make their lives good, They're, which is the right thing, of course it is, to um, so that they don't become the, the Lady of Sorrows. They feel as though they have to be the hero in their own life. They feel as though this has been a situation that has not served them. And the Rocks card says that they just feel like there's not a win to be had. The Rocks is like a king that's gone rogue. And it's the energy that says that, you know, your person simply thinks that no matter what's happened, that the situation is not something that is really um, workable for them. So they have to take care of themselves. So Virgo, I am going to leave it there. Sending you love from Chicago. Since I'm back, let me know where you're from. And uh, tell me about any other kinds of readings that you'd like to see here. I always answer the comments. And thank you. Have a happy holiday. Bye-bye, Virgo.